Hello, wonderful audience. Thank you for choosing to spend your time with me. Thank you for joining us today as we dive into 2022 Highland Council election. Elections to the Highland Council were held on 5 May 2022, the same day as the 31 other Scottish local government elections. The election used the 21 wards created under the Local Governance Scotland Act 2004, with 74 councillors being elected. Each ward elected either three or four members, using the STV electoral system. New ward boundaries were proposed by Boundaries Scotland in 2021 which would have reduced the total number of councillors to 73, however these were rejected by the Scottish Parliament. At the previous election in 2017, independent councillors won the most seats and formed a coalition administration with the Labour and Liberal Democrat groups. Turning our focus to composition, let's explore its key elements. Since the previous election, there were several changes in the composition of the council. A number were changes to the political affiliation of councillors, including SNP councillors Callum McLeod, Maxine Smith, Pauline Munro and Liz MacDonald who resigned from the party to become independents and independent councillor Donny McKay who resigned from the independent administration to join the Conservatives. Independent councillor Andrew Baxter was removed from the independent administration and initially continued under the designation Real Independent before joining the Conservatives. SNP councillor Ken Gowans resigned from the party to become an independent in 2017 before subsequently rejoining the party the following year. In total, nine by-elections were held and resulted in an independent gain from the Liberal Democrats, a Liberal Democrats gain from the SNP, an SNP gain from the Liberal Democrats, an SNP hold, an independent hold an independent gain from the Conservatives, two Liberal Democrats gains from Independents and an SNP gain from the Conservatives. Independent Councillor Ben Thompson resigned from the Council in November 2021 and Tom Heggie, also an Independent Councillor, died in February 2020 to which left vacancies on the Council which would not be filled as they occurred less than six months before the election. Party 2017 Result Final Composition Independence 2828 SNP 2219 Conservative 1010 10, Liberal Democrats 1011 Labour 33 Green 11 Notes Now, let's shift our attention to retiring councillors. Of the 72 sitting councillors before the election, 30 did not stand for re-election. Additionally, for councillors contested different wards from the ones they previously represented. With four sitting councillors defeated at the polls, only 38 sitting councillors were re-elected in 2022. Ward Party Retiring Councillor North, West and Central Sutherland SNP Liberal Democrats Linda Monroe Thurso and North West Caithness Conservative Wick and East Caithness Liberal Democrats East Sutherland and Editon Labour West of Ross. Straff Affer and Lochalge SNP Alexander McKins Conservative Derek McLeod Cromarty Firth Independent Carolyn Wilson Dingwall and Seafirth Independent Black Isle Liberal Democrats Independent Jennifer Barclay SNP Craig Fraser Island Chi Independent Callum McLeod Kale and Maleg Independent Liberal Democrats Dennis Bricks and Ed and Loch Ness Independent Margaret Davidson Inverness Central Independent SNP Emma Roddick Inverness Ness Side Conservative Inverness Milburn, Labour Culloden and Odyssey Independent Nen and Corder Independent Conservative Peter Saggers Inverness South Liberal Democrats Fort William and Pudnamuchin SNP Niall McLean. Let's now turn our attention to proposed boundary changes and examine its role within the larger context. Following the passing of the Islands Scotland Act 2018, a review of the boundaries was undertaken in North Eshire, Argyll and Butte, Highland. Orkney Islands, Shetland Islands and Comherel Nan Islands Sire. The Act allowed single or two member wards to be created to provide better representation of island communities. New ward boundaries were proposed by Boundaries Scotland in 2021 which would have reduced the number of wards by 1 to 20 and the number of councillors by 1 to 73. The proposals would have made no changes to the boundaries or numbers of councillors in Cromarty Firth, 
Fort William and Udnamuchin, Nen and Corda and Thurso and North West Caithness, the boundaries in Ilanachi and North West and Central Sutherland would have remained the same, but the numbers of councillors would have been reduced from four to three and from three to two respectively. Further changes would have seen for new wards created in Inverness, with the total number of councillors representing the city rising from 16 to 18 while Kale and Malague would have been renamed Kale, Malague and the small isles to recognise the island communities within the ward. Boundaries Scotland said the changes would create more recognisable ward boundaries by Inverness, Tane and Noidart and better align with the historical Caithness Sutherland County boundary. However, the proposals in Highland were rejected by the Scottish Parliament and the 21 wards created under the Local Governance Scotland Act 2004 remained in place. With our foundation established, it's time to explore uncontested seats and its relevance to our overarching theme. After nominations closed on 30 March 2022, there were not enough candidates in Kale and Malague to require an election. Three candidates stood for the three seats available. As a result, Green candidate Andrew Baldry, Liberal Democrats candidate John Cohen Grafen, and Conservative candidate Liz Saggers were elected without a poll. This was one of a number of uncontested wards across Scotland, with a total of 18 councillors automatically elected. Despite their candidate being elected without a poll, the lack of interest in standing for election was called a threat to local democracy by the Greens. During the 2017 local elections in Scotland, just three council wards were uncontested, but votes were held in every ward in both 2007 and 2012 the first elections to use multi-member wards and the single transferable vote. Public disinterest in standing for election to local councils has been linked to the ridiculous size of some local authorities and the low pay councillors receive for their work. Turning our focus to results, let's explore its key elements. Note, votes are the first preference votes. The net gainulous and percentage changes relate to the result of the previous Scottish local elections on for May 2017. This may differ from other published sources showing gainulous relative to seats held at dissolution of Scotland's councils. Welcome to the next segment, where we explore ward summary and its significance in our journey. Class unsortable Aileen Sentry Rouse and Aileen Left Ward. A class. A class. A class. A class. A class. A class. A close Ralph Span total close class unsortable Aline Center Colspan Colosp Colspan Clyde Colspan Clola Liddum Colspan Clora Conservative Colspan Clora Green Colspan Clola Lab Colspan Clola White Others Yaline Lefanorf West and Central Sutherland Abcula Abcula Icklespan Ralph Span Yaline Lefafurso and North West Caithness Abcula Abcula Icklespan Icklespan Ralph Span Yaline Lefwick and East Caithness Abcula Abcula Yaline Lefiest Sutherland and Editon Abcula Abcula Icklespan Ralph Span Yaline Lefwick Mr. Ross, Straff Peffer and Luchals, Abkula Abkula Icklespan, Ross Ban Yaleen Left Chromati Firth, Abkula Abkula Yaleen Left Outain and Easter Ross, Abkula Abkula Icklespan, Icklespan Yaleen Left In Wall and Seafuf, Abkula Abkula Yaleen Left Black, Al Abkula Abkula Yaleen Left Tiaman, Achi Abkula Abkula Icklespan, Yaleen Left Kale and Malag Icklespan, Aline Center Icklespan, Yaleen Left Iad and Loch Ness, Abkula Abkula Icklespan, Yaleen Left In Venice West, Abkula Abkula Yaleen Left In Venice Central, Abkula Abkula Yaleen Left In Inverness Ness side of Kula Abkula Yaleen left Inverness Melbourne Abkula Abkula Icklespan Icklespan Rouspan Icklespan Yaleen left Culligan and Odyssey Abkula Abkula Yaleen left Nayan and Koda Abkula Abkula Icklespan Yaleen left Inverness South Abkula Abkula Yaleen left Badenek and Strathspey Abkula Abkula Icklespan Rouspan Yaleen left Fort William and Abnumachin Abkula Abkula Icklespan Class Unsortable Class Assort Bottom Yaleen left Total Let's now venture into the realm of North, West and Central Sutherland and explore the fascinating intricacies it holds. 2017, 1 SNP, 1 Libdom, 1 Independent Pre-Election, 1 SNP, 1 Libdom, 1 Independent 2022, 1 SNP, 1 Libdom, 1 Independent. Get ready to uncover the mysteries surrounding Thurso and North West Caithness as we navigate its intriguing terrain. 2017, 2 Independent, 1 SNP, 1 Conservative Pre-Election, 
to Independent, 1 SNP, 1 Conservative 2022, 1 SNP, 1 Libden, 1 Conservative, 1 Independent. Without wasting any more time, let's jump into the fascinating world of Wick and East Caithness. 2017, 2 Independent, 1 SNP, 1 Conservative Pre-Election, 1 SNP, 1 Lib Dem, 1 Conservative, 1 Independent 2022, 1 SNP, 1 Lib Dem, 1 Conservative, 1 Independent. Let's now venture into the realm of East Sutherland and Edison and explore the fascinating intricacies it holds. 2017, 1 Lib Dem, 1 Labour. 1 Independent Pre-Election, 1 Lib Dem, 1 Labour, 1 Independent 2022, 1 SNP, 1 Lib Dem, 1 Independent. Brace yourselves for the next chapter, where we'll be dissecting Wester Ross, Straff Pfeffer and Lo Charles. 2017, 1 SNP, 1 Lib Dem, 1 Conservative, 1 Independent Pre-Election, 2 SNP, 1 Conservative, 1 Independent 2022, to SNP, one conservative, one independent. Now let's delve into the intricacies of Cromarty Firth and explore its various aspects. 2017, to SNP, to independent pre election for independent 2022, to independent, one SNP, one Libden. Welcome to the next segment, where we explore Tain and Easter Ross and its significance in our journey. 2017, 1 SNP, 1 Lib Dem, 1 Independent Pre-Election, 2 Independent, 1 SNP 2022, 1 SNP, 1 Lib Dem, 1 Independent. In the next segment, we'll be exploring Dingwall and Seafoth and its implications for our subject matter. 2017, 2 Independent, 1 SNP, 1 Lib Dem Pre-Election, 2 Independent, 1 SNP, 1 Lib Dem 2022. 2 Independent, 1 SNP, 1 Lib Dem. Turning our focus to Black Isle, let's explore its key elements. 2017, 1 SNP, 1 Lib Dem, 1 Independent Pre-Election, 1 SNP, 1 Lib Dem, 1 Independent 2022, 1 SNP, 1 Lib Dem, 1 Independent. Now, it's time to shift gears and explore Island Achi. 2017, 3 Independent, 1 SNP Pre-Election, 4 Independent 2022, 2 Independent, 1 SNP, 1 Conservative. Get ready to uncover the mysteries surrounding Kale and Malag as we navigate its intriguing terrain. 2017, 2 Independent, 1 SNP Pre-Election, 1 Lib Dem, 1 Independent, 1 Vacant 2022, 1 Lib Dem, 1 Conservative, 1 Green, I invoke transcutable section main section coal and Malay text. In the upcoming section, we'll be dissecting Ed and Loch Ness and exploring its implications in greater detail. 2017, 2 Independent, 1 SNP, 1 Conservative Pre-Election, 3 Independent, 1 SNP 2022, 1 SNP, 1 Conservative, 1 Green, 1 Independent. As we move forward, let's uncover the untold stories and fascinating intricacies of Inverness West. 2017, 1 SNP, 1 Lib Dem, 1 Independent Pre-Election, 2 Lib Dem, 1 SNP 2022, 1 SNP, 1 Lib Dem, 1 Green. Now, let's shift our attention to Inverness Central. 2017, 1 SNP, 1 Labour, 1 Independent Pre-Election, 1 SNP, 1 Labour, 1 Independent 2022, 2 SNP, 1 Labour. As we transition to the next segment, let's unravel the mysteries surrounding Inverness Ness side and gain a fresh perspective. 2017, 1 SNP, 1 Lib Dem, 1 Conservative Pre-Election, 1 Lib Dem, 1 Conservative, 1 Independent 2022, 1 SNP, 1 Lib Dem, 1 Labour. In the upcoming section, we'll be dissecting Inverness Melbourne and exploring its intricate connections to our topic. 2017, 1 SNP, 1 Labour, 1 Conservative Pre-Election, 1 SNP, 1 Labour, 1 Conservative 2022, 1 SNP, 1 Lib Dem, 1 Conservative. 
Now, we shift our focus to Culloden and Ardesia, a topic that deserves our attention. 2017, one SNP, one Libden, one independent pre-election, one SNP, one Libden, one independent 2022, one SNP, one Libden, one independent. In the upcoming section, we'll be shining a light on Nen and Calder. 2017, two independent, one SNP, one conservative pre-election, three independent, one conservative 2022, two independent, one SNP, one conservative. As we transition to the next segment, let's unravel the mysteries surrounding Inverness South and gain a fresh perspective. 2017, one SNP, one Libdom, one conservative, one independent pre-election, one SNP, one Libdom, one conservative, one independent 2022, one SNP, one Libdom, one conservative, one independent. In this chapter, we'll be shedding light on Badenek and Strathsby and its role in shaping our understanding. 2017, one SNP, one conservative, one green, one independent pre-election, one SNP, one conservative, one green, one independent 2022, two independent, one SNP, one conservative. Get ready for an exciting part as we dive into Fort William and Arnumachin. 2017, two SNP, one conservative, one independent pre-election, three SNP, one conservative 2022, one SNP, one Libden, one Green, one independent. Now, let's shift our perspective and explore changes since 2022 from a different angle. Tain and Easter Ross Liberal Democrat Claire Sarah Rawlings resigned in June 2023. A by-election was held on 28 September 2023 with independent Maureen Ross elected. Claire Ross has joined the Highland Independent Grouping on the council. I hope you learned something new today. Let me know what you found most interesting in the comments below.